Hillel Day School should win a 3D Carver because... Because we are game changers. Because we believe that the best way to learn is to do. Because we believe that when students are involved in their education, they want to learn. Not only will we be using the 3D Carver before, during, and after school, yeah. oh. it will be integrated into our lesson. Just like the rest of the tools in our school. Because we believe that when students teach each other, they get the most out of learning. Hillel Day School should win a 3D Carver because... Because we love to create. And we want everyone to love creating too. The passion for learning, making, doing... It's catching on! Hillel Day School is a community Jewish day school that was founded in 1958. We educate children from early childhood through 8th grade. We believe in a 21st century progressive education where our students learn the skills that they need to be successful in the world they're going to inherit. So we concentrate on problem solving skills, creativity, collaboration, communication, and skills that teach our children to care more about the community and not just themselves. Join me for a tour of Hillel Day School. This is the Makerspace, designed by FNI Architects for all different types of learning. Now, Mr. Allen is going to explain to us a project. Mr. So, Allen, yeah. can you explain to us a project? Okay, so we um, are working on a birdhouse project for the fourth grade, and what we're going to be doing is um, creating a set of birdhouses, each of which is designed for a specific species of bird. And then we're going to try to figure out how to build an artistic birdhouse condominium. And uh, we'll be needing an X-carver to do so. As you can see, we have many tools here in the makerspace. Over the summer, me and a couple of friends have made videos explaining how to use these tools so that everyone feels safe and comfortable. Well, I'm glad you asked. Students play a lot of roles throughout our whole school and in the makerspace. One example of this is the Havonim. Havonim in Hebrew means the builders. So basically, we build a foundation for other people to blossom off of. So there are different experts in Havonim. For example, I'm an expert of video editing. So, I edit videos and I help other people edit their videos. More roles are 3D printer experts, sewing experts, um, and there are tons of leaders throughout our whole Halloween community, and we we help teachers and students learn how to do the thing that we, the things that we um, have experted. So I am currently replacing the extruder of our 3D printer, and basically what you have to do is you have to take out the parts that push and melt the pieces of plastic. Um, so you take out these parts, and this is the old one right here, and I'm putting in the new ones, and then we're going to hopefully fix the printer and have it work. Hi! So what are you doing on the green screen? I'm filming somebody. I'm going to film somebody on a grassy field. Oh, is this for a school assignment? Yeah. Yeah? Woo! Come on, let's go to the prototyping room. This is the room where we take our ideas and put them down on paper. So then, when we want to, we can go to the makerspace and build it. Let's go to the deconstruction room. I can get my sister to say I'll be there. What are you doing now? 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just like our 3D printers, the CNC is another tool you can use to create prototypes or final versions of a, of a idea or project. This is our original CNC, which never actually ended up working. This is a Shapeoko 2, which is very similar to an X car, except this one doesn't work, and an X car usually does. Actually, it bought this in parts, and it came in a lot of little bags and pieces, just like this. And then we took all of the pieces and all of the bags, and over the course of about three or four weeks, we put this whole thing together, and it didn't end up working, which was kind of disappointing, but it was overall a fun experience. All right, so the prototyping process uh, begins with a simplified version for the little guys, plan, do, and review. And once they learn how to do that, to research, to create, and then to critique, then we break it up into more complicated ways of prototyping. We aren't just making cool objects. We're prototyping the way that education is done. Yeah, this is an example of t teachers and students working one-on-one. -on -one. As you can see, there's no place that a 3D carver would fit in better than Hillel. Thank you from the 8th grade videography team.